been into town um, for a little speaking panel thing that I was doing and I took Ted with me because I haven't actually managed to get myself organised to express milk yet. So um, at the moment, because he's exclusively breastfed, it means that he just has to come everywhere with me. Which isn't ideal, I have to be honest. Part of me loves it because it's like having a little mate that just goes with you everywhere and he has to go and so it's like, oh, my little friend's coming. Um, part of me is a bit like this is a royal pain in the arse because um, it just scuppers travel arrangements, it takes ages to get anywhere. I've got to take a pram with me, a car seat if we're going in a car, which is why I normally favour the train, nappies, changing stuff. And the worst thing is just the fact that I am then going to have to feed him while I'm out, which I'm not keen on, I have to say. I know that it's, you know, everyone is very pro breastfeeding in public and I completely um, pro breastfeeding in public because how the hell else are you going to feed your baby if you need to feed your baby um, but I don't enjoy it and I think actually many women don't would rather feed in private if they had the choice because it's quieter um, the baby feeds better because they're less disturbed by everything going on and it's just easier I'm waffling for a reason because I feel like recently I've been in a little bit of a rut with the old videos mainly because I've been absolutely knackered and I feel like potentially I came back to work a little bit early having had Ted and um, it's just been a little bit manic. And so I've had lots of ideas of beauty videos that I've wanted to do, but I've sort of been stuck in this room, so you recognize that background, and it's over. Me and this room are over. I know I've said that before, but I'm making my way back into the office because I can't bear actually editing another video with, in fact, let's turn that way so I don't have to, um, with that background. In the background of this particularly high quality video, you can see my fan. Just do my hair in it a bit, there we go. Uh, you can see my collapsible background, that round thing, and just loads of junk. So, you know, that's a massive improvement, I think, on, uh, on the clean, simple background of before. Anyway, I thought I'd do a what's in my bag video, because I haven't done one in ages. Uh, and it is completely random. I haven't premeditated this video at all, because it was going to actually be an outfit video. Uh, I have now got back from the job that I've done, and it is so, so dark outside. It's really rainy, really miserable, and also I had a bit of a sleep in the back of the taxi, so my makeup is a little bit worse for wear. I am winning at this video in game, aren't I? Uh, this is my bag. <laughs> have no idea what it's called, I'll have to Google it. It's a Tom Ford tote of some description. I got this for Christmas, Oh, not last Christmas, Christmas before maybe, I think. And inside it's just got one big cavity, love the word cavity. And then it's got a zipped pocket there, and then it's got two little flat pockets that you could put cards in or particularly flat snacks such as uh pita bread um biscuits so what do i have in here i've got old train tickets i've got loads and loads of change and then right at the top here i have the handmaid's tale are you watching this on channel four because it is absolutely brilliant um the way they've adapted this I haven't read this book in a long time, decades, and so I thought that I would give it another reread. So I've just ordered this off Amazon. Didn't get to read it while I was out, but hey ho, I'll read it later. Changing mat, that's from a changing bag. Another nappy. Riveting. Uh, which wipes? I always have loads of different wipes on the go today. I have the water wipes with me. iPhone, which, let's just talk about the iPhone because this is a 6 plus and I really wanted the 7 but then somebody told me ages ago oh don't get the 7 the 8's about to come out that was so long ago and because I'm on my phone so much why didn't I just get the 7 when the 7 came out I could have still upgraded to the 8 and probably got an upgrade deal but I've been stuck with my 6 and I feel like the camera is 
way off compared to people's pictures that they've got on their seven. Just look amazing. Biro, quite dangerously float, floating around in there. Uh, a bug. This is a bug that's got Velcro on it, so you attach it to a baby's hand. Um, and there are socks with bugs on as well, with like little wings that crinkle and stuff. And they're to keep them occupied when they're newborns. These are brilliant. Some trousers. These are Ted's trousers, obviously, not mine. A spare top in case he pooed himself. A rubbery hand thing. He chews on this because he's teething already you can put this in the uh, freezer and i know sorry this isn't a baby channel but just in case you're interested and it makes it all cold for them when they're chewing it pop bands hair bands i've got so many of these lying around um a little sort of pale bronzer this is from chanel and it's the le beige medium light healthy glow luminous color and it's just like one of their really subtle bronzers and then I have got a Real Techniques um, Point L brush. You can really get in there and buff everything together. You know, if you've made a bit of a mistake, which is me all the time, you just sort of, they're really good, robust, robust is my word of the week, brushes just for bashing everything in. And um, yeah. Great, I can really recommend these. And in my actual makeup bag, oddly, I have some eye makeup remover. This Murad Matte Effects Blotting Perfector, which is so, so weird, but so amazing. It's a cushion, right, with a puff thing, but it's wet. Look, it's squidgy and, it, oh, which way? I can never get this right. There, squidgy and wet and, um, how does that blot, I ask you? But it does, and it's kept my makeup really sort of fresh and non-greasy for quite a few hours. I'm very impressed with that. I'm gonna to have to do a website review. Yeah, Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. I really don't know how that works. It's a liquid that's powder. L'Oreal False Lush Superstar. It's got the base coat and the um, one for building them up and then the top coat thing. And then I've got Chanel lipstick in Adrienne. I've got that on. And then I've got my little quick smoky eye kit that I've been rocking for the last few weeks. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link to it at the end again because I just think maybe I put like the wrong thumbnail picture on it or something, I don't know. YouTube's so fickle. Um, but it's a really, really handy little look. So I've got my scandalized crayon from Rimmel, although you can use any, oh, ow, any crayon you like. You just sort of scribble, scribble, scribble. I mean, I can't see what on earth I'm doing, so excuse me. And then get your brush, nice big chunky solidy brush. I use the Zoeva one in my video, but this is a, I like this brush actually. I found it the other day in my office and a load of stuff that I'd put away for future posts and um, forgotten about. It's the Chanel number 17, I think. Can you see how um, chunky and fat that is? So good for getting underneath and like smoking things out. Love it. And then I've got a Marc Jacobs highliner which I've always got lying around. If I want to do my waterline, I just found another lipstick at the bottom of my bag. This is Souffle Nude by Dior. And I have to say, I don't know, it'll take off Adrienne. I actually really prefer this one to Adrienne at the moment. Adrienne's a bit more of a grown up um, beige. And this one is very pinky. See, and it's got this really nice sheen. It's so pretty. I don't know whether they make it anymore. I will um, endeavour to find out and I'll link to it below if they have. So yeah, that's what I took with me in my bag. And then I had my um, upper baby pram, which I don't normally take in because we take it off-roading loads and it's so caked in mud. It's ridiculous. Um, and I wheel it into places and people just look at it and there's like massive clods of earth falling off the wheels and bits of stick coming out of the spokes and you know 
all sorts of things and then like a chewed up old tennis ball that we've been throwing around for the dog rolls out of one of the pockets. So I don't normally bring it with me but it fits the car seat um, really well. That's a Cybex car seat that I took with me because you can strap it really easily into other cars. Um, and then yeah that's what I took with me. I'm wearing my dress from Oasis which I think has now sold out. But it feels very sort of Gucci-esque, this dress. I love it. It was such a good buy. Um, and then my boots from LK Bennett, which I'm not sure if they do anymore. But they look very similar to a pair that Chloe made um, a couple of years ago. And when they had them, I was like, yes, those are cool. So I funked up the dress a bit. What about this? Diary, journal, notebook, whatever. This is from Odia, and I think it's their sort of standard... Um, inside of their daily journal so it's daily journal and they've always got different ones out with different prints and so this is just for people who love stationery they've got day and month they've got today's objective which I love a little schedule down the side like that notes and to do and then objectives it's a lot of writing but when do we get to write these days when do we actually pick up a pen and I have to say, I've only done a couple of pages, but I've really enjoyed it. That's it for now. Hope that you enjoyed this and um, I shall see you in the next video.